Hi everyone, welcome back to Gillian at Mystic Healing Therapy. So it's a very windy day here in the UK. My grandmother always used to say the winds have changed, the winds bring change. So let's wait and see. So today's video, I've got a couple of things to talk about. But before we start, I'm just going to remind everyone that the Mystic Healing Christmas party, the Zoom get together, is this Sunday the 17th at 4 o'clock GMT which is London time. Um, I'll put the link for the Zoom call chat in my telegram but also if you want to specifically request an individual request go on gillianengland.com and the contact page and then I'll send you the link that way. All right so what's today's video about? A couple of things really. Firstly about energetic um, frequencies and frequency match. So I was inspired yesterday in my psychotherapy clinic that I was helping somebody around repeated patterns of relationships and they were feeling like when the person rejected them that it was some flaw on their part. Um, and the way I was seeing it energetically is that they were trying to make relationships with people whose frequency didn't match theirs so you know ultimately if there's not a frequency match ultimately you're not going to be able to take that relationship um, far enough you know to the desired outcome but it's not just in romantic relationships I've come to realize it's about every relationship you know be it a friendship be it a work situation if your frequency doesn't match the the environment then ultimately that's not going to be a long lasting situation um but the thing the over the overwhelming thing is when that happens people blame themselves you know they th automatically think it's a flaw that there there's something wrong with them when it isn't there's nothing wrong with them it's just the person that or the situation they're trying to be in that frequency doesn't lend itself to seeing the um inherent qualities of who they are because they literally got the wrong pair of glasses on so you know they they are not being seen in their true um, full context. And I quite often use this analogy for this. You know, I might have mentioned this before, but let's say I like walking up a mountain. Um, when you're near the car park, so we always say when, you, when you're near the car park, when you're not only a mile or two f away from the car park, there's always plenty of people because that's like the bottom of the mountain. Think about a pyramid, there's, a, you know, there's more space at the bottom. But then as you move up the, um, up the mountain, you get less and less people. Um, and then when you're at the top, you hardly see anybody because it's a lot of effort to get up to the top and not everybody makes it to the top. Well, that's a bit like frequency, you know. Sometimes people, especially in communities like this, you might be vibing higher than perhaps the average person. So you're more inclined towards the top of the mountain. So there's less people on your wavelength at the top of the mountain because you know the the masses if you like are closer to the bottom of the mountain now this is not a value judgment i'm not putting a value thinking that you know people at the top of the mountain are more superior they're not all frequency is equal but it is just frequency wise there aren't as many people vibing on your level and that's why the higher frequency you get the more lonely it can be so i just wanted to share that one really and the next thing i'm going to share is just a reminder about discernment you know um if something doesn't fit with you no matter who's saying it no matter how much you respect or you respected or whatever that person if it's not fitting comfortably within your heart space, then don't adopt it. I think this is a massive, massive learning curve for everybody these last few years as to be able to stand in your power, observe different points of view for sure. But if you've 
observe the point of view you've taken it to your heart and it doesn't fit don't adopt it that's all I'm saying you know we I think I've mentioned on videos before about blindly following people we're stepping out of that age aren't we where we find our own intuition in tuition it's inside us um the tuition is within um so just remember that folks just remember that okay so i think this video is coming to a conclusion now so remember you can find my paperback books on amazon you can find my audio books on jillianengland.com you can find the kindle version on amazon too you can find me on jillianengland.com for contacts um, i will be going to our below on the 21st of december for a solstice ceremony i will put, be putting details for that out next week although we are we will be meeting at 10 o'clock sorry 10 30 so that's 10 30 for an 11 o'clock start but i will be putting further details out l next week um sending you all lots of love in in these times and bye for now <laughs>